Hello and welcome to my channel, My Garden, My Passion. Have you ever wondered why some flowers bloom during certain seasons or why we get some fruits in certain seasons only? Well, that is because of the seasonal changes that occur. Among the many factors that influence the seasonal changes, the length of the day or the daylight received or the night darkness that is received by the plants is one important factor and this uh, the response of the plants to the day length or to the darkness received is called as photoperiodism. Photo means light, periodism is the time or the duration of the light that is received by the plants. So, photoperiodism is the physiological reaction of the plant to the relative length of daylight or darkness received by them. And of the many physiological responses, prominent ones are bud initiation, root or uh, tuber development and flowering. So, today I want to talk about flowering. The most prominent flowering plants that exhibit photoperiodism and burst into colors during winters when nights are long and days are short are this white Christmas tree that you are seeing, then we have the chrysanthemums and the calanchos and of course the poinsettias about which I am going to talk today. So, I am standing here under this poinsettia tree. You must be wondering how I am standing under the poinsettia tree because you are all familiar with the short potted poinsettia tree. But in nature, the poinsettia trees are wild and they grow very tall. And this is one variety that I have in my garden. So, the wild varieties grow very tall. In nature, poinsettias are shrubs or small trees that are native to Mexico and Central America. There they grow wild in nature and when the days start becoming small and the length of the night, that is the darkness increases, the plant begins to change color. It appears as if the petals of the flowers are red, but the flowers at the center are small and insignificant and the colored portions are the modified leaves or bracts and they surround those small flowers. In the wild, you have the tall varieties which will automatically change colors during the season and by the end of February, March, they revert to green. The wild varieties are usually in red and white. However, in modern times, poinsettias have been bred to be small in size and compact. There are plants now in different colors of red, pink, white, yellow, either plain or speckled. So, the nurseries in winter are flooded with these plants. In the northern hemisphere, they have become the most popular plants for Christmas decorations adding bright color to the snowy bleak winters. The poinsettia is the world's most economically important potted plant. Each year about 70 million poinsettias are sold in about 6 weeks in the US alone and is a 5 million dollar industry. And since, since 2002, December 12 has been known as National Poinsettia Day in the US. In India too, we can grow poinsettias, we can grow the wild varieties in our gardens where they will be tall and they will put forth colors by November and continue till February, March. So, I have already shown you the two tall varieties that I have seen in my place that is in Dharwad. They are the single layered and the double layered. So, you can have these in large gardens. You can also have them in pots. Even in India, it is a trending plant during winters. 
when people buy at least a few pots to brighten their gardens. But once the season is over or when the leaves of the bracts revert to green, it is a long wait till the next season and caring for the plant is not easy and to get it rebloomed the next season is quite difficult. So many gardeners are at a loss as to what to do with these plants or how to maintain them till next year. In the US, however, most plants are composted after the season. But I think we can get them to bloom the next year with some specific care and maintenance. And that's a topic for another day. So till then, enjoy the blooms. So that's it about the points at years today. In my next video, I will talk about the other uh, winter flowering flowers. And those are the chrysanthemums, the kalanchos, or they also call them as kalankois, and the white Christmas tree, which is also called as the Euphorbia leucocephala. And if you want to know more about these plants, stay tuned to my channel, subscribe to my channel, My Garden, My Passion.